वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू फॉर ए नेगेटिव फीडबैक कंट्रोल सिस्टम हैविंग फॉरवर्ड पाथ ट्रांसफर फंक्शन गिवन एज जी ऑफ एस इक्वल्स टू के ओवर एस एस प्लस सिक्स एंड हैविंग द यूनिटी फीडबैक सिस्टम डेट इज एच ऑफ एस इक्वल्स टू वन वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज वी नीड टू डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ के For the system to have the damping ratio equals to zero point eight three two, so we need to find out the value of k in the open loop transfer function g of s, and given that the value of del equals to zero point eight three two, so let's do it. Firstly, we know that the characteristic equation. is given as 1 plus g of s into h of s is equals to 0 this is the expression of characteristic equation so on putting the values of g of s and h of s in this equation we get 1 plus this is g of s k over s into s plus 6 and h of s value is 1 equals to zero. On taking the LCM, we get S into S plus six plus K equals to zero. So, on multiplying it, S square plus six S plus K will be equals to zero. This is the characteristic equation. we have also studied that the characteristic equation of the second order control system is also given as this is the transfer function that is c of s over r of s which is given as omega n square over s square plus 2 del omega n s plus omega n square and this whole denominator term is nothing but a characteristic equation so the characteristic equation is also like s square plus 2 del omega n s plus omega n square this is an another form of characteristic equation this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 on comparing both these equation we get on comparing this equation we have to first compare that omega n to the power 2 is equals to k here so k is equals to omega n to the power 2 so we can also say that omega n is equals to under the root k this is the one observation and since we know that del that is damping ratio is equals to 0.832 comparing the second term that is 2 del omega n s with the second term that is 6s so on comparing we get 2 del omega n will be equals to 6 only so this implies that omega n will be equals to 6 over 2 del on putting the value of del here we get omega n equals to 6 over 2 multiplied with 0.832 so the value of omega n will finally become 3.61 and we also know that omega n is equals to under the root k and so on equating this we can get 3.61 will be equals to under the root k so this implies that k is equals to 3.61 divided 
to the power 2 so the finally value of k will be approximately equals to 13 so we determined the value of k that is gain moving on to the second question that is for this value of k determine the complete time response to an input r of t equals to 2 ut where u of t is a unit step function so in this we need to find out complete time response and the complete time response is given by c of t equals to 1 minus e to the power minus del omega and t over under the root 1 minus del square sine omega d t plus phi this is the complete time response formula here we also know that omega d is nothing but equals to omega n under the root 1 minus del square and also the value of del here is 0 0.832 and here the phi will be equals to 10 inverse of under the root 1 minus del square over del so substituting all this value inside this formula we get c of t will be equals to 1 minus e to the power minus del value is 0 0.832 into since omega n value is 3.61 that we calculated earlier into t divided by under the root 1 minus del value is 0 0.832 to the power 2 sine of omega d omega d value is omega n that is equals to 0 that is equals to 3.61 under the root <coughs> 1 minus 0 0.832 to the power 2 t plus 5 here 5 value is 10 inverse of under the root 1 minus del square that is 0 0.832 to the power 2 over 0 0.832 these are the values that we used so on calculating the term we get c of t equals to 1 minus e to the power minus 3t over 0 0.5548 sine of 3.61 and this whole term will become 0 0.5548 into t plus in bracket plus tan inverse of this whole term will become 0 0.6668 so c of t will be equals to 1 minus 1 1.8025 3 e to the power minus 3t 
sin of 2.002 t plus 33.695 degree so this is the value of c of t that we evaluated now in the question here is also a second condition that we need to find out complete time response to an input r of t equals to 2 ut so we found an complete response when r of t is equals to ut but in the question it is saying that you have to find a complete time response when the input r of t equals to twice of ut so simply what we need to do is we need to multiply our complete time response with this two only because we have calculated the input complete time response for r of t equals to ut and it is saying the double of the complete time response that's why for r of t equals to 2 into ut we say that c of t will be equals to twice of 1 minus 1.80253 e to the power minus 3t sin of 2.002t plus 33. Six ninety five degree. So, on multiplying two inside the bracket, we get C of t equals to two minus three point six zero five zero six e to the power minus three t sine of two point Zero zero two t plus thirty three point six ninety five degree. So this is the final value of C of t, or our complete time response. Thank you.